Hey guys, Adam here with uh, another Coffee Talk video. I haven't done one of these in a while. I haven't done a lot of videos actually over the past year, but uh, that's going to change. Uh, first off, I just want to thank everybody who's been watching what little content I have been posting. Um, as of this, we're over 1,700 subscribers to this channel, which is far more than, uh, than I ever thought I would see when I started this just to help out the sim racing community. Uh, so a big thank you to you guys guys um to people still posting questions in some of my older videos uh, i do still try to respond to those however sometimes i see them and then something happens and i forget and i apologize that i don't get back to you so i'm going to post this question out to anybody watching this video just comment yes or no uh down below do you guys watching this channel want me to set up a Discord for, oh, things like product reviews that I've done, Sim Hub questions that you guys post in the official Sim Hub Discord that often go unanswered or the answers are unclear, dashboards you're working on, you want me to review, anything that I've kind of generally done for this channel? Do you guys want me to set up a Discord? Um, Yes or no, just post that. Uh, I'll, I'll give it a couple of weeks after this video goes up. And if it seems like yes, then yeah, I'll set up a Discord finally so that we have a way to kind of keep track of all of the questions that I get asked uh, through SimHub. But in the meantime, um, I am in most of the larger sim racing discords and a lot of the streamer discords and official sim hub discords and manufacturer discords uh, all under the same username just adam hart so just if you've got a question and you've posted to one of my videos here in the past and i haven't gotten to answer it i do apologize uh, you can find me in discord under that username um, just tag me in a question uh, or send me a DM and then I will that's that's a great way to guarantee I'll see it and hopefully I will remember to respond I do my best but like I said sometimes I just I forget and I apologize um, well that's a bit of rambling for 2023 uh, I have got a really cool project that a lot of sim racers are going to be interested in um, involving some stuff with MoTeC and data science that I do for a living every day anyway so I'm going to get to like apply that to sim racing and it's going to be probably the deepest dive into a very specific set of sim racing hardware that I think is going to interest a lot of racers. Um, that's all I'm going to tease for now, so just stay tuned. It's going to be a multi-part series. It's going to take me months to do this because there's going to be a lot of testing, a lot of research, a lot of data wrangling that is involved with this. I hope to have the first video for this series go live around the middle of March. That's kind of my target right now. Um, I don't have all of the equipment I need right now to do this project just yet, but hopefully it'll be here soon. It's early February as I'm recording this so hopefully within the next couple of weeks stuff will start to trickle in and I can start working on that project but that's not why I'm here today that's not why I am drinking coffee with you I want to take a moment and kind of ask for some racers to maybe try something different um, last year 2022 I posted one ACC LFM video um, and the race was spectacular I did a few more scattered throughout the year um, but iRacing for me which offers multi-class will always be like my sim of choice even though I am a predominantly GT3 driver and I just say that because that's my preferred class to race I love racing GT3 cars especially in multi-class but I absolutely can't stand racing the VRS sprint series in iRacing and I don't know why I just I get no enjoyment out of the VRS GT sprint series or the fixed sprint series in iRacing. IMSA is is kind of the only thing I'm racing in iRacing right now besides NASCAR. Um, I love the next gen, the A car. Uh, oval racing is a whole lot more fun and way more challenging than I ever thought it would be. And now that I'm doing that, that's super awesome. But for GT3, I've kind of 
pivoted because the last few updates iRacing has made to the GT3 cars have... I, I don't know. Like, the cars just don't feel as fun to race anymore as they used to. They feel like super high downforce with low grip and weird power bands and a balance of performance that cha doesn't change. iRacing doesn't update the BOP from week to week, but with iRacing we get like one car will be OP for the week and that's the one car that most people will drive and it's, I'm going to be honest, it's kind of boring. Um, and so I have, as of a few weeks ago, been relearning, and I say that because there's a learning curve, uh, how to drive in ACC. It's, it's taken me a bit of time to get up to speed, um, because ACC has a few things that iRacing doesn't. It has ABS that actually functions like ABS should, and it doesn't punish your tire degradation. It has traction control that actually works, so you can rely on it. Um, and it has a proper GT3 tire model. Uh, I'm not going to say proper because I don't really know what a real GT3 car drives like. But what I can kind of refer to is my years of racing motorcycles and autocross and knowing how tires react. To me, the ACC tire model feels more natural but that's just my subjective opinion i have no data to back that up don't listen to me when i say that i'm just subjectively speaking but i also love that the the audio in acc is so much better than the audio in iRacing. uh there's a number of things about the way the gt3 cars feel in acc that I really love, but learning how to drive those cars and learning to rely on the ABS and the traction control and how to set up those cars, uh, it, it took me a while. I mean, it was a few weeks to where I could get up to speed, and I'm nowhere near the top split ACC guys and LFM. Those guys are in a whole nother world. But what I'm here to ask for you guys, especially the American Sim Racers, um, give it a shot and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you why I'm asking you this video because number one uh, it's I did two races the day before filming this video in both of those races I was battling for 15th is where I finished in both of those my my ACC yellow is abysmally low right now because I'm I'm relearning how to drive and I'll get back up to speed soon. I'm going to post some ACC races uh, for the LFM sprints. They're 25 minute races. I think that's long enough for a YouTube video. Anything longer, I wouldn't want to watch it myself, so I'm not going to post it. Um, but the racing has been absolutely incredible. The starts are chaos, but the starts and I racing are chaos anyway, too. It's just, it's the nature of sim racing. Um, but once you get past the start in the first couple of corners, it, the, the balance of performance in ACC is so amazingly good that I have chosen to stick with the Porsche 991 GT3R and I can run that car from every single track. And yeah, there's a couple of tracks where one car is going to be maybe a tenth or two quicker than everything else. But overall, the ACC balance of performance is nuts. And so let me show some information here as to why I am asking American racers to give LFM and ACC a shot. Um, you got two graphs up here, splits by time of day and and drivers by time of day. Now, this data is specifically for LFM Season 9, Week 6, the GT3 Sprint Series at Imola. Um, those peaks that you see up there, that is roughly around 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that is peak time for Europe to be on in racing. That's, there, that's the evenings over in Europe and you can see that we're getting close to 300 drivers, eight to 10 splits, 
Um, and this is just from two days, but this data holds consistent over every, almost every week. There's a couple of tracks that aren't as popular, and it's the same with iRacing as well, where those unpopular tracks will see less racers. But those, those valleys there in these two graphs that I'm showing you, that's the evening for American sim racers. And I know that there's a, a three-hour difference between me and Eastern Standard Time and my buddies out in California on Pacific Time. So... There, there's going to be a bit of a gap in there, but we're lucky to get 15 to 20 racers and one split in the evening on LFM for American racers. And that one split has a yellow delta. The top guy will be like 3,500, 4K, and the bottom guy is like 900. And at, at that point, the racing just doesn't become fun when i'm sitting right now is this filming like a 1200 elo because i'm still learning um i'm going up against guys who are like way faster than me it's just it, it's not as fun now fortunately my schedule does allow a few days every week where i can race during these peak european times and i can get into a split where the elos are very closely matched you know like around a 1200 strength of field and the racing has been spectacularly good. I mean, I can't begin to tell you how great it felt to get 15th place in a split of 27 GT3 cars because the BOP is so tight. And I'm gonna kind of bop over here and show you this. So this, these two visuals that I've got posted up uh, are shared uh, from Haimo. If you don't know who Haimo is, he's does uh, esports ready setups. He calls them. I think his stuff, which is available on TrackTitan.io, um, is, is the equivalent of like a, a, an Apex or a, a VRS, um, where he posts setups. You can go out there. You can purchase them. Um, Haimo and Tortellini. I hope I pronounced that right, uh, post track guides on YouTube every week for the LFM races. And what's really super cool about ACC is once you purchase a setup, if you choose to go that route, it doesn't change from week to week, season to season, like setups do in iRacing. Now they will change from build to build. Currently we're on 1.18.21 and some of the setups did change a little bit from the previous acc build but builds aren't something that happens every month or every week or every season uh like they do in iRacing so uh, a, a setup from three weeks ago at imola is going to be just as good a couple of months from now at Imola pending we're on the same build all you have to do is look at the track temps adjust your tire pressures and you're good to go you can run the same setup so you're not constantly paying uh, that annual subscription to VRS Apex Pure Driving School whoever it is that you choose to use for setups for iRacing you don't have to do that for ACC you buy them once and you're you're pretty much done if you chose to go that route now the other thing is, is a lot of guys there's a lot of discords for acc where people are sharing some really fast setups that are kind of on edge and a little little hard to drive from being honest but they're blazingly quick but if you look here and these are qualifying times for uh season nine week six uh lfm and look at this look at this bop here right now okay so at imola yeah the aston v8 is slightly faster but imola is a power track and it's kind of no surprise that it's going to be two tenths quicker but look at every other car they are all almost right on top of each other we, we see the same thing at silverstone this bop is so great that in acc you can pick one car, stick with it the entire season. Now I'm sticking with the Porsche because I'm that's, I'm just a fanboy and that's what I want to drive and that's what's fun to me. Plus that car and my brain, I seem to understand how that car drives. It's certainly not the easiest, um, but that's what I'm sticking with. So I, I'm just... You know, I'm just going to kind of ask, just, hey, give ACC, give LFM a shot. If you don't know what LFM even is, um, I'm not going to describe it here. 
Uh, Dan Suzuki put together a great video series about a year ago now on how to get started in LFM because it's not open lobby ACC stuff. You have to actually qualify to be able to race in LFM. I'm going to link Dan's video series down below. Uh, it's multi-part and it, it, I think all in, it's, it's about an hour to watch all of the videos, but he goes in through some great tips on how to get started, how to get your safety rating to where it needs to be, and then you have to be able to drive consistent lap times to qualify which is cool and lfm has stewards that will review videos and if you get protested and uh, guilty i got protested and i lost that protest and rightfully so because the stewards will review the videos that get submitted as part of the protest then they will send the person who was protested the result of that along with the video so you know why you were penalized it was a little annoying but it was also super cool to know yeah i i did screw up here and i kind of deserved this protest so give it a shot just one evening if you're tired of racing i racing because it's not the track you want go qualify for lfm jump in join me and as a bit of an incentive i'm only going to do this for one car though because i'm going to do it for the porsche um i will try I'm not going to guarantee, I'm not going to promise, I will try because sometimes life just gets in the way to every week on this channel, I will post a set for the current LFM sprint track. So this week, week six is Imola. Um, I'm not going to post my Porsche set for Imola this week. Uh, next week is Mizano for week seven uh, by Monday of that week I will post a Mazano set for the Porsche I'm building my own I had a great uh, LFM not LFM uh, MoTeC teacher who taught me how to understand all of that data and what is what uh, Dal King has posted some killer videos on YouTube as well on how to tune um, ACC cars in MoTeC and how to read and understand what that's doing. I watched all of those videos as he's posted them. Um, so my setups are not blazing fast. They're not going to be top split fast, but they are going to be fast and easy to drive, but they're only going to be for the Porsche. So uh, if you want to drive the Porsche, I will post setups here on this channel when I can by Monday of each LFM week as a little incentive to try to get some American racers to come join me in ACC in the evenings because I tell you what these one split weight races just they're a little dull uh, not super exciting and that's it that's all I've got so let me know your thoughts comments questions concerns uh, down there below and don't forget to let me know if you want me to finally set up a discord for this channel and for sim hub stuff and whatever else I do on this channel uh, especially with this project I've got coming up here in 2023 uh, but until then until next time just remember be cool to each other out there and I will see you in the next video